So we'll close the action with the iArmy Cadets. It's Oliver York and Tom Wood on the front row of the grid with Alex Quinn and Owen Byatt on row two. Lewis Thompson starts fifth alongside William Petit with Teddy Wilson and Alex McDade on row four and Kean Dewis back in ninth place alongside Tyler Chesterton. A couple of drivers you want to watch out for. Johnny Edgar's had a great start to the season. He starts down in 16th for this one though and into the first corner already. It's York and Quinn that get the best start as they run up towards the hill. That's a spinner. That's Callum Bradshaw. Bradshaw has spun it in the 77. So he's got a very tough work ahead of him to make up that ground as they fly up towards. It's getting a little bit close. We've got a spinner. Oh, dear. Douglas spins and Brown spins to avoid collects Mills. Nanetti spins round. Molinaro's gone white. And there's two more involved. Up at Spoon, that's Anderson Chilcott in the back. And Johnny Edgar. Johnny Edgar has collided with Anderson Chilcott and the pair of them now at the back of the field. That is absolutely unbelievable. Let's look at it again. The spin comes from Tom Douglas. Here he is. He loses it mid-corner and there's nothing that 48 Wesley Brown can do. He hits 19 mils, takes him with him. Nanetti spins to avoid. Molinaro has gone wide and passed it. And then a little further on, Edgar and Chilcott got together. What a dramatic start. So York is leading, Owen Byatt is up to second place now, past Alex Quinn. So uh, great moves there from the rookie. There's the two that tangled, Brown and Mills, trying to get back onto it. Owen Byatt is having a storming race. He's up to second, up to the lead. He takes the lead then. Nice move there on York, who tries to go back on the inside of Byatt. Byatt is not going to let him through without a fight. This is brilliant defending from the rookie. Owen Byatt holds on in front of York, and Quinn is going to get through to second place. Well, somebody off in the background as well. That's the 20... Nine that's gone off there. So Alex McDade running a little bit wide on the way down to the carousel. But out in front, it is the rookie, Owen Byatt. And that was only the first two laps of the race. This is brilliant. Oh, and we've got 15 running wide now. William Petit goes wide and loses a handful of time. Now he's back on the inside of the 96. And <laughs> this is happening too fast. Joe Turney loses a place. This is unbelievable. Cracking start to this race. There are a multitude of rookies in the championship this season, not only in this class, but other classes as well. But uh, we've already seen this season, Jake, some of these rookies are clearly going to be ones to watch as this championship develops over the, never, uh, the next couple of seasons. None less than uh, perhaps uh, Owen Bayer out front. So we see the 40 cart makes up a place, makes up a couple, make that three, I think, as the... Uh, Nine car, I think that's Tom Wood as it runs across the grass as it comes down the hill. Yeah, that is Tom Wood. 60 car making up a place. Wood in between the three, three abreast going through the turn. That usually doesn't work, but they all seem to get through there. Fantastic racing in the early stages. Still York out front now from Byatt in second place. And uh, as I said before, the rookies, there are plenty of them this season and plenty to consider in terms of championship potential this season and over the next few seasons. Down to Paddock Bend one more time. William Petit makes up a place in Alec McDade. 29 cart, the 18 cart in behind McDade is Sean Butcher as they go through the line one more time. I have never seen three carts going wheel to wheel through a double left-hander apex like the carousel before. <laughs> that is absolutely magnificent. The drivers in this series really are amongst the best in the world in terms of on-track competition and we see that York has obviously taken the lead back again from Owen Byatt with Alex Quinn in there as well in the seven in third position and Byatt is going for it again up the inside trying to make the space to get past Oliver York but York is not going to let him get through without a scrap on track and this is brilliant stuff York defending valiantly as Owen Byatt looks left looks right and once again he can't find a way through there's just not enough track to make the overtaking move he's probably wishing right now it wasn't Glanigors Park it was Abu Dhabi with plenty of uh, wide open spaces either side but he's having to really work at it in this train of carts still contesting position now once again that's the uh, battling pack we've got 45 there defending valiantly that's Zachary Robertson trying to fend off the drivers he's racing with side by side into Spoon very close as Byatt goes for the inside now he's switching back again to try and get York on the run down to the carousel and Quinn is trying to cut in there as well no moves yet it's a little bit early to make that Banzai move. He'll probably want to keep this pace up until the last couple of laps and then make the move. By dropping back just a little bit to Oliver York by about a cart, a cart length or so. And that's giving Quinn the chance to have a look for second place. And as far as he's concerned, he'll want to make the move sooner rather than later. And again, Robertson <laughs> battling against Sean Butcher there in the 18. 
running wide, taking a nice wide line and holding off a pack of about six carts there. Brilliant defending work there from Robertson, who is really struggling. Uh, Wesley Brown in there as well in the 48, trying to fend off positions as well. It's really getting difficult. Drivers are having to go defensive very early on in this race, and uh, that's definitely going to lose them time. Here is the number nine of Tom Wood trying to recover from his uh, earlier problems. Alex McDade in behind him. These two currently scrapping over what I believe is ninth place. York leading Quinn now. So Byatt is down to third position. Dewis is fourth from Graham and Teddy Wilson. Tyler Chesterton and Dexter Patterson battling over seventh place. And there is the confirmation. Byatt down to third because Quinn has stepped up the attack, got past Owen Byatt, and now he's chasing after Oliver York. Brilliant stuff between these three. They're still holding a nice advantage over the rest of the field. But uh, Kean Dewis is not far away in case these three end up holding each other up. Owen Byatt dropping back just a little bit from Alex Quinn and that could actually play into his advantage because of course we've got a few laps left to go and uh, you don't want to go defensive too early this could still play into Owen Byatt's hands here Quinn is sizing up a move on Oliver York as they go down to the spoon and again York defends valiantly Byatt gets the opportunity to close in a little bit very close yeah Owen Byatt will not want to lose the back of these two he doesn't want to be running on his own just one engine that will uh, leave him open to attack from the carts behind he wants to get right onto the back of these two in front as quickly as he can but it looks like he's just lost the back of them if he's in the train then he's got the slipstream effect if he loses that slipstream effect the carts behind if they work together will close him and uh, Oliver York meantime has put in the fastest lap 54.69 but it's York ahead of Quinn with Byatt just losing the back of the leading pair. There he is, the 38 car. It's a great performance today by the rookie, nevertheless. Yes, indeed. It's not easy when you're going up against the likes of York and Quinn, who are the established guard in this championship. Very much the every man here. Up the inside comes Quinn. Nice move there on the run to Spoon. And he certainly made mincemeat of Oliver York on the way in. Fantastic stuff there from uh, Alex Quinn. Brilliant performance down towards the carousel once more. And is Oliver York going to have a look up the inside? No, not quite. He's not close enough. But this could be the difference between first and second for Alex Quinn making the move now. And as you can see, the rain has eased off a little bit now. So the drivers are going to have to struggle with the greasy conditions. There's Kean Dewis just in front of Teddy Wilson now. Just as I say that, the rain is back. And that is a torrent absolutely torrential rain coming in on the circuit now as we enter the last lap could that have been better time for Oliver York he makes his move on the inside of Alex Quinn and as you can see the track is getting very quickly saturated as we go into the last lap it's anybody's York leads Quinn second trying to go around the outside up to spoon curve this is where they're really going to struggle for grip into the right hander very tight indeed as Quinn once again tries to take York. York is defending. You can see him holding the left side of the circuit for the double apex carousel. Is he going to be able to hold that inside line? Yes, he just about hangs on. But there's still the compression complex. Three rights, and we've seen a lot of drivers run wide here. Right, right, right again. Here comes Quinn. No, he doesn't quite make it through. Oliver York holds the lead for the moment. And down towards Devil's Elbow through the right, through the left. York sweeping all over the circuit. He does not want to let Alex Quinn get it into Paddock Hill Bend. Has he got enough traction? They're going to come across the line almost together, but York has done it. York wins it. Quinn is second. Byatt is third, ahead of Lewis Thompson in the 79. We've never mentioned him in the race. Where did he come from? Great drive to grab fourth position. Well done, mate. I stayed in, the, I stayed in third, uh, but Lewis Thompson was catching me towards the end. I had to defend as hard as I could last lap but uh, my first podium ever so I'm really happy and I'd like to thank um, my dad and Dan Hazelwood and uh, my mechanic Richard. Me and Ollie kind of dropped Owen a bit but then on the last lap Ollie drove a great race and just couldn't get past him but second's good got some good points so yeah. Ollie cracking race you had the lead for a long time there you had to hold on though towards the end didn't you? Yeah, it was a good race. Um, I managed to get a good start. I managed to lead through, uh, through through the laps. Then Owen passed me, and uh, then I passed him, and then Alex followed through. Then I passed both of them back and got into the lead. And then me and Alex just pushed away from Owen and uh, come to the last lap. And um, I was still leading, and um, it's very tight. And Alex did great um, attacking on me, but uh, managed to hold it off, and it was a good race. 
And I'd like to say a big thanks to my mum, my dad, my little sister and my brother, um, Fusion Motorsport and um, Rod D. Taylor for helping me out this weekend. A brilliant duel and a fantastic victory for Oliver York. He remains at the top of the table with Alex Quinn there in second place. Lewis Thompson, Tom Wood and Alex McDade are very close together for third position with Teddy Wilson waiting in the wings as well. Plenty to fight for through the 2013 campaign and it hasn't finished yet. We're going to be returning to the world of Super One in five weeks time for the Rotax series at Lark Hall in Scotland. And you can bet the action will be just as good. See you then.